Hi, welcome to Buchan Stationery. I'm Michael. And I'm Grace. And today we'll be talking about shimmer inks, how are they used, um, what kind of is a shimmer ink, and some common questions asked about shimmer inks. So first of all, Grace, so tell us a little bit about what shimmer inks are and how they are used. Yeah, so shimmer inks are inks with like little glitter particles inside of them that like makes the ink sparkle when you're using them. And it just like, it adds like the next level of dimension to your writing and uh, you can use it for really anything, but I like to use it for like those special occasions. Yeah, for sure. And another thing that's really important to know about shimmer inks is these aren't just your typical types of glitter inks you can get at Michael's or anything like Very that. Very important to note. These are specifically made for fountain pens and their glitter that they use and that's kind of that sparkle is specifically fountain pen friendly. Yeah. So you can ensure that your fountain pen is um, still going to work as well if you use yeah. those ones. But these are still something you really have to clean and take yeah, care of with. Definitely, you need pen. to be a little more careful with these inks, but it will work for your fountain pens as long as they're like fountain pen shimmer inks. Exactly, so in this video and especially in the upcoming video, we'll kind of be talking about how they're used. We'll kind of give you a quick rundown of that yep. and just, yeah, give the you different options. the do's and don'ts with shimmer inks and the common, most common questions we get asked. Yeah. And when we sell the glit the shimmer inks. So let's talk about some of the common questions we get asked yeah. and just a few other important things to note about shimmer inks. For sure. So first of all, what type of fountain pens are best used with shimmer inks? Yeah, I would say like really any fountain pen works. Um, although it's really like up to your personal judgment, like what which of your fountain pens you want to use. Uh, I like to keep like one that's dedicated. For fountain pens, I mean, uh, one of my fountain pens dedicated for shimmer inks. For sure. Uh, and I would like, if I were to have a Mont Blanc, I would not try it in that. So just like one of like your like entry level uh, workhorse pens, I think would probably be the best bet. Yeah, for sure. I think that's really important is just ensuring that you have just that one there mm -hmm. that you can routinely know how to clean, you know, the ins and outs yeah. of it because shimmer inks can be very complex to use if you don't know what you're working with. Yeah. But once you kind of get the hang of them, they're a joy to use. Definitely. Um, what are your thoughts on the Lamy Ink Joys, Osprey pens, especially with shimmer inks and all that? Yeah, I mean, they're fabulous to work with. I think especially like the Ink Joy, because like it comes with like the calligraphy nibs that are like double broad or like extra, extra wide. Um, I find that it like really shows off the shimmer very nicely and of course like the Osprey Madison with like the flex nib is it just like the shimmer adds like that extra like calligraphic flair. For sure. And speaking of nib nibs, um, what nib sizes would you recommend for mm -hmm. shimmer inks? Yeah, I would say like probably medium and up just because like fine, extra fine, like you do run that little bit of a risk that it will like clog up the pen and like you really want to see like all the shimmers so like go broad. So speaking about seeing shimmers, mm -hmm. um, a lot of the times people have always asked us why can't I see the shimmer on the ink? For sure, yeah that's definitely a common question and one that I have like messed up a few times myself. Uh, when you're filling up the pen you really want to like rotate the ink bottle around before you use it. I wouldn't recommend shaking it just because like you're gonna get air bubbles and then that's gonna be a whole hassle. But um, just like moving the ink around gently in the bottle uh, before loading up your fountain pen, the way to go. And when you're writing with a fountain pen, just rolling it in between your hands. Oh, yes. Yep. Uh, just to like loosen up the sparkle particles. Um, the sparticles um, would be the way to like get it started again and then the other way uh, where like if you've done all those steps and your first words and you're writing and it's not sparkly just wait let it dry and then the sparkle will appear. Sure. And for those of you watching right now do not worry about all this information we're talking about right now there will be another video where we kind of be talking about how to use um, shimmer inks and just how to clean them all up. So don't worry guys. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that all of you guys have a fantastic experience with shimmer inks. But back to the asking a few more questions yeah. that we always get. Um, 
Dry times. What are the dry times with shimmerings? Yeah, dry times are like honestly pretty similar with like regular inks. It's just that like normally when you're using a shimmer, you're using like a broader nib and the broader nib makes it like take longer to dry. So like you may like feel like it takes longer, but it's about the same. For sure, for sure. Um, what companies sell shimmer inks? Uh, yeah, there's uh, quite a few companies on the that's have their shimmer inks on the market now. Uh, Diamine, uh, Diatramentis have some lines, and then also we have here uh, Kionoto, uh, Ferris Wheel Press, and the uh, J Urban. Yeah, the J Urban Canada du Nepal is an absolutely stunning ink. It's one of my favorite shimmer inks for sure. And continuing on, mm -hmm. um, we got one last question: Is what a uh, fountain pen? friendly paper would you recommend right. with your shimmerings? Yeah, I would definitely not ever try it with like just regular paper. Uh, something like a Clairefontaine, uh, Rodia, uh, not Rodia, not Rodia, um, <laughs> uh, and uh, Midori, Midori is really good. Maraman, to Tomahawk paper. Yes, yes. Those would all work well. Yeah, so those are some awesome things that we would definitely recommend. That wraps up our video on shimmer inks. A lot of information kind of coming in this video. Do not worry about that. We will be uploading a video which you can learn all about them even more and you kind of see them in action and kind of get the ins and outs of how shimmer inks are used so we can make from ourselves be experts to you guys be experts about shimmer inks as well. So. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Michael. And I'm Grace. And this is Buchan Stationery. And we will see you soon.